Now, remember that we're talking now about one-dimensional motion. In one-dimensional motion, what does constant velocity mean? In one-dimensional motion, what does it mean if I tell you something has constant velocity? Pause the video and think about that for a second. Well, in one-dimensional motion, it just means the object is moving at constant speed. And what does that tell you about the acceleration? Pause the video and think about that for a second. What does constant speed tell you about the acceleration? Well, I hope it was clear that that means the acceleration is zero. It means the object is not accelerating. There's no acceleration. Constant velocity means no acceleration. The acceleration tells you how fast the velocity is changing. So if the velocity is not changing, uh, the acceleration is zero. Now let's think about a different situation for one dimensional motion, constant acceleration. What does constant acceleration tell you about the velocity? Well, it certainly does not tell you that the velocity is constant. Um, all that constant acceleration means um, is that you are speeding up at a constant rate, or slowing down at a constant rate. Um, or it's possible that you can have a constant acceleration of zero, and then you would have a constant velocity. If you have a constant acceleration, that definitely does not mean that your velocity is constant. If your acceleration is parallel to the velocity, um, then a constant acceleration just means that you're speeding up at a constant rate. Or if your acceleration is anti-parallel to your velocity, um, then a constant acceleration would mean that you're slowing down at a constant rate. Only if the acceleration is constant at zero do you know that the velocity is also constant. We're neither speeding up nor slowing down. All right, so here's a summary of what these terms mean for one-dimensional motion. Remember that constant velocity is a very simple idea. Constant velocity in one-dimensional motion just means you have a constant speed, which means that you don't have any acceleration. Um, your acceleration would be zero. So notice that constant velocity does not just mean your acceleration is constant. It means much more than that. Constant velocity means your acceleration is zero. Uh, if you have a constant acceleration, there's many different situations you could be in. Um, you could be speeding up with a constant acceleration, you could be slowing down with a constant acceleration, or if you have a constant acceleration of zero, then you would also have a constant velocity. Um, but you can't just assume that the word constant in front of acceleration, it means that you can also put the word constant in front of velocity. You have to just think through every single case. So that's the mistake that people tend to make here. They just assume that if they put the word in front of one concept, they can put the same word in front of the other concept. Just because you can put the word constant in front of acceleration does not prove that you can put the word constant in front of velocity. You have to think about the details of the problem. So again, if you are moving with constant velocity, we know that you're in a very simple situation. You're moving with, uh, you have a constant speed, which is that your acceleration is zero. But if you have a constant acceleration, you could be in three separate cases. If you have a constant acceleration, you could still be in three separate cases, because your acceleration could be parallel to the velocity, then you're speeding up with constant acceleration or your acceleration could be anti-parallel to the velocity, and then you would be slowing down with constant acceleration, or it's possible that your acceleration um, is constant at zero, uh, and then you would be moving at constant velocity and constant speed. I encourage you now to um, now uh, pause the video and take a blank piece of paper and try to reproduce what I have on the board on your own. These are some of the most important and also I think the most confusing concepts in physics. 
Um, it's crucial that you be very uh, that you be very comfortable at going back and forth between the concepts of velocity and acceleration. It's crucial that you understand the relationship between velocity and acceleration. And this only comes with lots of repetition and practice and thinking through um, the examples many times. If you don't do a lot of practice and repetition, you're always going to be getting confused between the concepts of velocity and acceleration. So please try on a blank piece of paper to come up with these concepts again until you can quickly see what the relationships are here. Um, so try to write down on a piece of paper what does it mean if you have a constant velocity? And try to write down on a piece of paper uh, what does it mean if you have a constant acceleration? Again, we've seen that if you have a constant acceleration, then that, there's really three separate situations you could be in. Remember that when you have a constant acceleration, um, we know that you can use um, our standard kinematics approach and the five kinematics uh, formulas. Except if your velocity is also constant, we don't use the standard kinematics formulas. Instead, um, we just use um, displacement equals velocity times time. 